Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. Today our topic is very simple about how lovable stupid Islam is. And I will open my Skype to show you that no Muslim really can prove me wrong. Islam is the most stupid, dummy, filthy cult. It's good to laugh. It's good to, if you want to be sad, it's a drama. For it's nothing but violence and bloodshed and rape and child molestation. If you want comedy, it's just another form of comedy. Beyond comedy. If you want stupidity, it's a, it will amaze you. Because there's nothing more stupid than believing in Islam. If you want fictions, nobody can beat Muhammad with his fictions. Uh, everything you can imagine, it fit with Islam. And let me open my Skype. So my Skype is open. And this is my challenge to any Muslim in the world. Is Islam laughable? Quran laughable or not? Is your prophet as a joke? Or he is a man to be considered to be even seriously for a second. Uh, you know, the Muslims are posting around a video, and the video uh, saying, uh, Let me see, where is the video? Where is the video? Um, huh. Two billion Muslims convert to Islam. I find it very funny and very stupid of you. I mean, the title is a big fat lie. How they are converted and they are born Muslims. How somebody can be converted and he's born a Muslim. And then he put a picture of some pimps. Look who convert to Islam. Criminals, pimps. Who convert to Islam? Before I continue my video, and yeah, in the video they made Muhammad the... Uh, he was a poor man. I mean, Muhammad, he have, according to Muslims, they counted, they don't know how many they are, but they counted at least between 70 to 90 slaves, male slaves. We do not know the female, how many they are. Muhammad, he have 13 wives. 13 wives and 13 houses. Every house, how many servants in? Muhammad, when he received gifts, he received tons of gold and silver. As an example, if we search right now, what is the gift of al muqawqas the ruler of Egypt, the Roman, to Muhammad? A lot of gold and a lot of sex slaves and male slaves. And then they go make videos. Prophet Muhammad used to be very poor. Prophet Muhammad. So what is the money gone? How much money Aisha she received in the day of anniversary of her marriage? We can show reference here. The Prophet was merciful. Isn't it your Prophet who put nails in the eyes of people and he cut their hands? Is that the mercy? Torturing? You know, I understand if somebody kill you, kill the person for the punishment of, you know, for his murderer. But you put nails in their eyes. You cut their hand and feet, torturing them. The merciful Muhammad, he go after a child, she is six years old. And this is why someone like, this is Andrew, Andrew Tits, he like Islam because he's a pimp. And all those who convert to Islam, they are pimps. I mean, I cannot believe it, how much lies. I did not even watch of it, all of it. I watched like a few minutes. And you will see how not a single word. And I invite this guy who made this video, if he dared to call me, to prove anything he said in the video. From the numbers to anything. If we ask those potatoes, is the Shia Muslim? They will say no. Is the Druze Muslims? No. Ahmadiyya Muslims? No. Alawi are Muslims? No. I mean, so who's a Muslim? Okay, let's go to the Sunni. Is a Sufi Muslim? No. Here we go. Take Turkey. Turkey is, you know, is garbage. It's not Muslims. Okay, uh, she the Chechen Republic, the Kadarov is not a Muslim. Those are Sufi. Uh, uh, Mimi Hijab is not a Muslim too, because he's a Sufi. I mean, it's a religion of a scam and lies. 
Even Muhammad, he said, my religion will be 73 sect. And Muhammad, when he said that, he was not fainting yet, you know. He fainted after, as you see in this hadith. We showed you that before. This is from the last time I, I was live. Uh, Muhammad, he said, Read with me. Muhammad, he said, the majority of my religion, my people, they are kuffar. They will go to hell. The Christian are 71, 72. One of them will go to heaven, which means 72, 71 sect. The Jews are the same. The Muslims are 73 sect. So one to 73 is the average of Muslims according to Muhammad, who is saved to go to, to Allah. And now every stupid one of them, those sect, they say to you, and by the way, what's 73 sect? This is additional proof that Muhammad is a fraud. Only 73 sects in Islam? Only? <laughs> so, Everything Muhammad he said is a stupid. Not not only that. I mean, they are proud about the numbers, but isn't it your prophet? He says that Islam will go back to its hole like a like a snake. Hmm. So what? Which one you Muslims are proud about? Islam is going to go back to its hole like a snake. Or the Muslims, there is people converting to Islam as you claim. Huh? Look what Muhammad said. What is the future of Islam? And now those people who made the video, they will not show you this. Either Muhammad is a false prophet or what you are saying is true. Which one? It can't be both. Muhammad said that he also reported that Allah Messenger saying, faith will shrink back to Medina as a snake shrink back to its hole. Translation is not really accurate, but we will let it go. But as you see, this is all is Sahih. This is Sahih. This is Sahih Muslim. Muhammad he called even Islam as a serpent. The Bible compared a serpent to you know serpent is Satan. So Muhammad he described his religion, religion of the serpent, and the serpent will crawl back to its hole. So you cannot you cannot run away from your destiny according to your prophet. Islam is going to die, and we are killing it. And before I forget, actually. We have our sister Sarah who left Islam here in our channel. If you remember, she have a channel. Uh, she have only two videos, but I like them really. I paused them already in, uh, uh, in YouTube community. Let me see where her channel. So I can share it with you. Give me a second. Yeah, if you go here, Sarah Hamad, you know, if you remember, she, she left Islam here in this channel. Uh, she created an, uh, a channel, and uh, actually she is doing a re very good job, you know, making those short videos that take time, because you have to watch and cut and, you know, add your comment, whatever, you know, it, it's really time consuming. So we appreciate those people, especially ex-Muslims, who join us to fight the garbage of Muhammad. So the, the, this video here uh, about uh, polygamy in Islam, uh, and Ali, actually, if you watch this video, you will see that Islam is a religion of a pervert. Let me play part of it and advise you to watch the rest in her, in her channel. Look at this pervert cult. Religion of the pervert. This is what it is. All those are pervert in the screen.
Why is the man keeping a secret? Why a man is giving a secret? Islam teach Muslim men to lie and not even, even marriage for them is a game. Why the man he keep marriage secret? Okay, he have a wife already. Oh, this one is a secret. The second one is secret. The third one is secret. The fourth one is secret. This is the first thing you learn about Islam and Muslims. They love to lie. They have a permission to lie. And if you can lie to your wife, I mean, who you can be honest with? In Islam, that does not exist. The family is destroyed. They start their life with lying. Listen carefully and love. No woman can take that right amount away from the man. Okay. It's impossible. Islamically, any of No woman can take the right from the man to sleep with other women. This is his right. <laughs> us can get a secret second wife. Absolutely. Well, any man Islamically, ah. there is no problem Same, in a man getting married to another woman in Misha without the first wife's knowledge. And there's no... There's there is no need for the man to tell even his wife that he's going to get married. There's no problem, you know. She's a, just a dog in the house, you know. This is the origin of a scumbag. No khilaf in this. Yeah. I don't know what happened to the sound here. Okay. No man wants to keep a secret. No man wants to go do anything behind his wife's back. You guys are created with certain hormones. Yes. For example, because we're learning here. Yes. You have your period. You have your menopause. You become pregnant, etc. There are so Ah, see, you have a defect. Actually, Muhammad, he says Muslim women, they will go to hell because they have their period. <laughs> Anyway, we can we can make a video about this later, but uh, again, I will post the link for those who like to support our sister here and uh, join her in her channel. Always, always uh, show support for those who work hard to do something, especially ex-Muslims. All right, uh, let me copy the link and send it to you. This is the link. All right. Now we go back to our topic. Somebody was trying to uh, uh, call me. I don't know who. Let us see. Maybe a Muslim. His name is Abu. I like it when someone, his name is Abu, is calling. Let us see if Islam is laughable or not. <clears throat> we are calling uh, Mr. Abu. Abu Barkin. I don't know what the hell does that mean. Hello? Hello? Why well, you are changing your voice, Fakira? It's just stupid. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fakira, she is calling me as a girl. How you doing? Stupid. I mean, you are, you are the lowest trash in this earth. I will never ever let you, you know, I, I, I made, a, actually, I, I made an oath in the Bible not to let you uh, I will never debate you, right? Uh, 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 I gave you a chance, uh, uh, even when you lie to me about who you are, right? And to talk. But you are so low. I mean, to even to have you for a minute. You you said the effort to your prophet. You said the effort to Allah. You, you, you called the Arab dogs. Uh, 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 you know, uh, I mean, just, just stay away, stinky, Fakira. Stay away. You are ashamed for the land you are born in it. Go, go, make a video saying the effort your prophet. Go, go, post it in your channel. Yeah. May Allah bless you. Uh, do we have any brave, real Muslim? Muslims, because they are ashamed of their religion, they dodge their hadith. Oh, the hadith is da'if. This hadith is da'if, brother. Mm -hmm. So why it says there Sahih? It says Sahih, brother, but it's naif. Okay, so they dodge 90% or 95% of Islam in the trash can in order to avoid the stupidity of their prophet. Actually, when we started today, by mistake, I opened this page about Muhammad being uh, Muhammad, the one who faint, the fainty Muhammad. I mean, isn't it nice to have a, a prophet like this? Look at this guy. You know, we have Jesus who people, if they touch his clothing, they get healed. He made the blind see, he healed the leper. You know, when we talk about the leper, we are talking about diseases which is not healable, like nobody can heal you. 
People die because of their disease. Nobody can heal. Nobody can make a blind man see by touching his eyes. Jesus, the one who raised people from death, what Muhammad was doing, read with me carefully. The messenger of Allah fainted when he was sick. Oh, what is Allah? Why he don't send him Jibreel? Watching Marlin, the UK uh, um, uh, fiction movie, uh, can help better. I mean, you will see Marlin, he is getting the prince each time he's almost dying back. Muhammad is fainted. Allah cannot get him back. Then he woke up and he said, has the time for the prayer come? They said, yes, yes, Prophet, yes. He said, tell Bilal to kill the Adhan, to call the Adhan and Abu Bakr to lead the people in prayer. And then he fainted. Whoop. Then he woke up again. Whoop. And he said, has the time for the prayer come back? They come. They said yes. He said, "Okay, tell Bilal and to tell Adan and tell Abu Bakr to lead the prayer." Ooh, ooh. Okay, and then he fainted. Like what the heck? And then he woke up again, and he said, "Has the time for the prayer come?" They said yes. He said, "Tell Bilal to cover Adan and Abu Bakr. Tell them to lead the prayer." Aisha, she said, you cannot do that to my dad. He's an old man. You know, Abu Bakr, Abu Bakr, Abu Bakr. She's asking him to change the name, man. I mean, you're stuck with that. Is that like a broken CD? Broken egg. A Muslim woman, she bought a CD to, 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 to make a, a cake. And then the CD stuck with breaking egg. And she keep calling her husband to buy her more eggs. I said, he, I give you already 500 eggs. Where, where are they gone? She said, I don't know. The CD keeps saying breaking egg. Breaking egg. And this is Muhammad, he's stuck. So I said to him, you can stop doing that. My dad is a weak man. He is tender-hearted man. He's old. If he stand that place or, you know, he cannot do that. So if you told someone else, Aisha, she said. And then Muhammad, he fainted again. I mean, she did not even finish the sentence, not even 20 seconds. How long did it take to say the, to, to take to, to read the sentence? 20 seconds, Muhammad fainted again. Then he wake up again and he said the same again. Tell Bilal to call the Adhan and tell Abu Bakr to lead in the Bible of prayer. So Muhammad, he wake up, he faint, he wake up, he faint. And he, this is telling you how stupid he is. This person is suffering from mental illness. It's not even time for prayer. I mean, you fainted just. You know, uh, 20 minutes ago, uh, and now they, they already the prayer is gone. And you all keep again. Mental. This is Muhammad. When Muhammad and he speak about Islam to be a religion to convert to, and then we find that Muslims, they themselves are crying because how many people they are leaving Islam. Even Muslims in Pakistan, they are writing the name of Muhammad over their penises. Where? If you go to a uh, uh, Brother Adam Seeker uh, channel, you will see he translated the Muslim interview, Big Sheikhs of Pakistan, crying on the on the scene uh, let me see if i can if i can find the, the video hold on you put it in the screen i mean muslims are not only leaving islam they are writing the the name of muhammad over their penises i don't know why i want to do that to my poor penis to put the name of muhammad on and i mean this guy will never function again if i put the name of muhammad he was not even his penis muhammad itself was not functioning isn't it Muhammad? He says, I was the most weak person between all mankind in boom, boom. And then I invoke my God, Allah, and then they send him a shish. Have you ever heard of a God? He sent a kebab. A kebab to do what? To fix the penis of his prophet. I never, I mean, imagine somebody is blind. So what Jesus does, he sent him kebab. Jesus, save me. Okay, I will send you kebab. Okay, tomorrow, Jibreel will come to your door. Yes, who is this? The kebab is ready. You eat it and you will be so good. 
God who sent kebab? Isn't you Muslim you say that Allah, if you want something to happen, he say be and it's going to be? Hmm. All right. You know, I want to I learn Urdu. Uh, you know, you remember the guy who called me just two days ago? You know, the guy he want me to promote his book. Desperate, nobody is buying it. And he turned that he do not know Arabic. And the whole book is based in explaining the Arabic Quran. But he do not know Arabic. He, he's an, he speak Urdu. Urdu, because they use Arabic letters, so they can read the letters, but they don't understand it. You know? <laughs> So the potato, he called me to promote his book. But put my book, put, put my book in the, you have 100,000 channel Christian friends. Put my book, put my book, put my book. I mean, this is how good your book is to the point nobody is buying it and you yourself don't speak Arabic. And yet you want to explain Arabic words to, even to me. Here we see those sheikhs in Pakistan, they are crying for the sake of Allah. Why? Why we allow this? They, they are even threatening to kill people. They want to burn cities. They want to take down. Uh, they want to hunt those people who they are doing that. Even women, they are putting the names of Muhammad over their boobs. What? Why a woman want to do that? Let us, let us see what it says here. Cyber crime, brother, cyber crime. So, you know, so what is the number of Muslims in the world? You'll find it here. This is Pakistan. In the heart of Pakistan, they are insulting Muhammad. They are throwing the Quran in the sewage. And he is asking the cyber crime. By the way, if I show you how many times I received from YouTube saying your, 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 your video is banned and blocked in this country uh, uh, upon the request of the government of Pakistan. I mean, this country have a huge number of territories out of control and they do nothing but drugs. This is what their business is. And selling smuggling weapons to kill each other. But the government of Pakistan watching my videos and sending request, government request, brother. Government request to YouTube saying that this guy videos is a threat to our security this is a country supposedly they have uh, nukes supposedly and christian prince youtube is a threat which makes sense you know if you think about it Look, look, I just searched in my email. Uh, this is this is a new one. <laughs> let me show you, let me show you. <laughs> this is a new one. <laughs> look at this, look at this, brother, brother. Look at this, look at this. This is, this is how Islam is weak and they need the protection of government. Hi Arabian Prophet, we uh, received legal complaint from the government entity regarding your content. After review, the following content has been blocked uh, from a view in a YouTube country site. Video name, Crazy Yet a Prophet. I mean, it's not even 60 minute, uh, 60 second uh, video, you know, very short video. The contact have been blocked from review in the following YouTube country site, Pakistan. I mean, do you see how powerful Islam is? Government entity, imagine Joe Biden sending, uh, uh, he's not a Christian anyway, he's a pervert like Muhammad, sending uh, um, uh, an, an, uh, an order to YouTube to block the video of a Muslim guy because he say Christianity is not good. How silly, how stupid, how dummy, how, how weak, how coward.
Black it, brother, black him. <laughs> Pakistan, Pakistan. <laughs> and the funny is, YouTube is very polite. They say, sincerely. I mean, sincerely, give me a break. I mean, sincerely, who is the stupid here? So if you block my channel, do you know how many people download my videos? I mean, it's even a stupid idea. My videos is all over. And now everybody will go and search what is this video says? Crazy, get a profit? Go watch it. You will die laughing. Let us see. I hope it's not Fifi trying to change her voice to a voice of a female, as usual. Okay, let us see. Let us see if Islam laughable or not laughable. Hello? Hello? Yes? Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Are you a Muslim? Yes, I'm a Muslim. All right. What do you think about Islam as a religion? Yeah, please. I have some questions to ask about the Quran and the Bible. No problem. What do you what do you what do you think? What do you think first about Islam? Is it a good religion? Islam is a way of life. So when the Quran says the man he can beat you, is that a way of life for you as a female? The Quran didn't say the man can beat you. No, it says chapter four, verse number thirty-four. Can you read it? It says, "Discipline them gentle." Where? Okay, you know what? Gentle, if if you can gentle, show me, if you if you can show if you can show me what you just said, I'm going to apologize from you in front of everybody. And the Quran, right? okay, show me in the Quran where it says, "Beat them gently." Go ahead. Are you with me? Hello, yes, I am. Yeah, can you show me where it says beat them gently? But you are saying that it says beat them. Can you show me where it says beat them? No problem. Here we go. Chapter chapter four, verse number thirty-four. Mm -hmm. And I will use and I will use your Muslim translation, please, not my translation. I don't want to divert, divert because I need to ask some questions and then comment on certain things you said. So I don't No problem, no problem. But you know what you say to me that Islam is a way of life, either this is, uh, we would, we, we would what that, is, what, we, is, what is, what, what is the chapter? You what say? is what? Chapter 4, verse number 34. And I will put it for you in the screen, everybody will see. And we will see if Islam is really a way of life or the way of, uh, you know, death. Um, please, the chapter 14. Chapter 4, 4, 4. The chapter yeah, of yeah. Anissa, the women. Yeah, okay. It says the man, if a woman, he feel rebellious of his wife, oh, rebellious, no, just, you know, like... Verse you, 34, you, yeah? Huh? Verse 34, right? Yes. Okay. And by the way, you are welcome. I encourage you, and I appreciate that you call. You are a female, yet you did what not Muslim men dare to call me. So I really appreciate that on you. You are welcome. Thank you. Please, I'm reading. All right, go ahead. Can you read for us loud, please? No, you can read it there. I am, I am illiterate. Illiterate and you are talking, you are speaking English. Uh, so what? Muhammad, he speaks Arabic, but he does not know how to read, how to write. Yes, by English. Is English your language? No, but because I, you know, I, I, I play with the street and with kids, they are, they speak English, I learn English. But I am a prophet and if I am illiterate. If you are a scholar, right? If huh? you are a scholar, you should know. Right? If I am a scholar, I should know? Should know what? No, you are a scholar, yeah? So how Muhammad became a prophet, he do not know. You just said that if I am illiterate, that cannot be possible to be a scholar. And then we say to me that Muhammad is the prophet and the scholar of the scholars, yet he did not know how to read his name. Muhammad was the prophet, and then Arab, Arabic was his language. Yeah, okay, well, okay, I, so, you know, I, I, I did not introduce myself to you. I'm black, blonde, African-American from Japan, so I speak many languages, but that does not make me anything except I'm still illiterate. Here we go. 
you know, I am a prophet illiterate like Muhammad. What the problem? You make a drama about it. Read for me the verse, please. Chapter 4, verse number 34. It says here, discipline them gentle. It says here in the Quran, be them gentle. Yes. Where, 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 where it says, where Quran. in the, where, where is the word be them gentle in the Quran? Oh, it says, discipline them gentle. That's why it says. Okay, where, where it says that? I, you know, I want to see it. You say? Where, where? Where? Yeah, I'm where? reading it online. It says gentle. Okay, what translation you are reading? Quran.com. What a translation? Yeah. Quran.com is a, is a site. Please again, I'm out of the page. Hmm. Because in the front of me, I have your Muslim translation, Muhammad Bikhtar okay. saying, Translations they can use they can use whatever they want, but that's what the Quran says. Okay, so if we okay, go in the Quran, if we go in the Quran where it says in Arabic, this is what the Quran says. You say this is what the Quran says, that means you know Arabic. So where in the Quran it says I, I don't speak Arabic. So how you know that the, 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 the translation you are using is not a false translation? Uh, how, do you, how do you know that the translation you are using is not because Arabic is my language? Yeah, it's your language, but you can be wrong. Uh, it's no, I cannot. Can no, I cannot. No, I, no, I, no, I cannot. I cannot. I can prove it. Yes, I can show you. I can you show you. You're a prophet and Aisha arguing, speaking about a woman. Her husband did beat her until he made her skin greener than her clothing. And Muhammad, he took the side with the man, not with the women. So how that is beaten gently? gently? Same time. So what the point? So why? What? What is the? How? How? How gently? Can you explain to me how the Muslim husband will beat you gently? Gently. So please, it says gently. Where? So where? Here we go. In the front of me, it says, here. There is no way to say it gently. This is this is this is the proof that Muslims they corrupt their book. You are fabricating Quran against the Quran, making a new Quran, where it says gently, if it's there, show it to me in Arabic. If it is, it, listen. Aramaic, so when you are translating Aramaic to this thing. Arabic, Arabic, this is not Aramaic, this is not Aramaic, this is Arabic. I'm only saying this is Arabic too. Okay, so? Where it says gentle, okay, where it says gentle, we can take, we can take, we can take. Please, we can get there. Huh? I don't want us to divert. I called on a different, uh, a different to ask questions and then to about the Bible and the Quran. So okay, to... we can. We have time. I mean, why why you are in a rush? You know, we are having good time. You know, you are a smart let's lady. Start, let's, let's start. When, when, okay. So why you why you are add, why you are adding words to the Quran to fix the Quran? Here huh? is it. I'm reading from on online. And that is why it's telling me. Okay, and I am reading. I'm, 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 I am reading the verses in Arabic. I am reading the verses in Arabic, and I'm reading your Islamic translation online too. It says "scourge them." Scourge them mean harsh beating. You don't say "scourge them" if it's gentle. And you, when you say "gentle," I ask you, okay, can you explain to me how gent, how gentle? Okay, explain to me. Hold on, I will go with you. I will go with you. How the husband he beat his wife in a gentle way? Give, give me an example. I don't know. No, what do you mean you don't know? You are the, I'm, 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 I'm gonna, I want to convert. I want to convert to Islam. I want to marry four Muslim women. I, I'm I going to beat go, them. I can go to every Muslim house to know how how, how your husband them. how your husband how your husband beat you gently. It says discipline them gently. Okay, how that he how your husband did beat you gently. That that I cannot tell you. Are you saying that you Christian don't your your uh, the husbands don't. Uh, uh, discipline their wives. Uh, in Christian uh, uh, discipline. Okay, hold on, hold on. I, 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 I discipline. I discipline my. I discipline my wife. Hold on. In America, your so-called Christian countries, almost every day there's abuse of women. We put them in jail. We put them in jail. We put them in jail, and we spit at them. We put them in jail, and they would they stay there for five, six years. 
This is the penalty. You, you in Islam, in Islam, you abuse you abuse. In, in, in Islam, hold on. In Islam, you abuse women, and if you call the police, the police will say, "So what if he did beat you?" In here, in Christian country, if you call the police, they will arrest the man. They will put him in jail for five, six years, and the cockroaches will eat will, will eat him alive. So look at the difference. In in America, listen, listen. In America, as an example, if you beat a dog, a dog, a cat, you go to jail up to three years. If you beat a woman in Islam, you are a good man. So that is, where is their logic when they value? Why, why the man? Uh, why the man is allowed to beat his wife? Why is she? Is she? Is she? Is, a, is she? They value animals. Yes, the Quran tells us to take care of animals. But animals the Quran, animals the Quran teaches you to take care of animals. Okay, so why your prophet order to kill all dogs? Please let's let's start. Let's start. What I I called you. Is did your prophet did say? Did your prophet say? Did your prophet say? Did your prophet say? Kill every black animal. Are you black? You see, I'm not. I'm not the hadith type. You are. Oh, what what type okay. you are? What type you are? I'm not hadith. I don't follow hadith. Ah, I'm you don't follow the hadith. Okay, as long you say it, you don't follow the hadith. <laughs> Where do you get this word gentle? Where do you get this word gentle from? Is this from the Quran? No. Let's start. When we get there, we'll cross because... No, you see, you're being... Uh, my friend, you're being hypocrite now. You say it. You say it. You say it. You say it. You don't follow the hadith. But then you say to me, gentle, if I ask you where we come from in the Quran, it's not in the Quran. Then you will say to me, I can look for a hadith. So you are a hypocrite now. I'm not. Okay. So... You don't follow hadith. The Quran says a Muslim man he can marry a woman for a few hours. Muta. What do you say? If you want, there's no muta in the Quran. There is no way in the Quran there is. That's what I'm saying. The questions I, I have to ask. If okay. You say the Quran talks about muta. We will get there. So let's start the questions. Chapter we'll 4, chapter 4, verse 24. Either I'm lying yes, or you're lying. Go ahead. I have the questions down to ask. So no, no, no. Say. Okay, you said I'm there's no muta. No, I want you to get me busted. Thank you said you. there's no muta in the Quran. You look to me which verse says muta. You, so you when we get there, chapter 4, I, I, I that chapter 4, verse 24. What kind of religion encourage the man to rent a woman for sex for a day or an hour or a few hours. I'm saying, let's get there. We are there. We there. Chapter four. Question. We are in the same yes, page. The, the same. The same chapter. The chapter of the women. Chapter four, verse number twenty-four. It says, "Mustam ta'atum bihi." We can open every Islamic interpretation you wish, and you will see. It says this is about the muta. Let's put that aside. We'll talk about it. Why well, you want to put it aside? Is that because are you going to put aside the whole? Are you going to put aside? Are you going to put aside all the Quran? I want to ask. So I'll talk about it. Say. So let's let's let me ask the questions that I want to. Okay. I, I want you to. I want you to promise me something. I want you to promise me something before we start. Yeah. If you ask me a question, you don't change the topic because I noticed the second you we say something, you right away you like to change the, the, the topic. No, 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 no. Okay, so give me the question and you and now everybody is my witness. You will not change the topic. Go ahead. No. Hmm. Yes, I want. I like I told you, I have some questions to ask about um, is, uh, the Quran and the Bible. All right, go ahead. And to comment on certain things you say about Islam, okay, including science. Including Quran and the light of science. Mm, like what? So let's see the Bible or the Quran. Which one is God's word? Uh, okay. And you say the Quran is full of fairy tales. So let's see. No, the, the Quran. Quran the no, no. Let me correct you. I did not. I, I never say the Quran is full of fairy tale. I say the Quran. No, no, no. The Quran. No, the Quran itself is a fairy tale. All of it is. All of it is a fiction. Go ahead. So let's see okay. which one is. And fairy tale, whether the Quran or the Bible. Okay. And before I, I before we we proceed, I think you, I hope you will give me the time to talk. Hmm. So I'll be glad if you can allocate some time for us because I wouldn't like. Go to go! Don't uh, don't make talking. don't make a drama. You know, don't make a drama. Just tell no, me what the, asking, you are wasting my time. You know, here we go. The, the last five minutes, we are just saying what we will say. Just say what you want to say. Go ahead. Okay, so first of all, I, I would like to ask you, I saw a video of yours 
that you posted. You mostly, you even let me, mostly you use hadis to make your point. Weak hadis. You will see that this one is weak hadis in your own mind. Which one? Which hadith. one? Are you saying music? Which one? I've seen a video like that. You which one? one is which one? Weak, but you which one? Use it. You use which one? Which one? one? Which one? When you are talking about uh, which, Islam, which one? Right which one? Which one? Which one? See, it's, you promise me you want to change the topic. Which hadith okay. is weak? I used to prove Islam. Give, give me no, 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 no. Don't tell me in one of my videos. I, I, I have a million of videos. Tell me which hadith. Okay, which one? Which one? It was a Nigerian guy who even called you. Who, who? And then the guy, the guy asked you. So you know that it's weak, and you see one to you, and you said yes. Okay, which hadith? Which hadith? I can't remember. Uh, uh, let me tell you something. I say to Muslim, yes, because I know their game. So I say, yes, I'm, I'm playing. And then I show him it is Sahih. I get him busted. So they are stupid. And they say to me, it's a weak hadith. So I say to them, oh, it's it's, uh, it's naive. But then I show them it is strong. Now show me the hadith you are talking about. And let us see if this is true or not. No. As an, as an example. Okay, no, you are the one who opened. You are the one who opened the topic, not me. You're a prophet. You're a prophet. He said, as an example, that the black dog is the devil. Is that scientific? We'll get this. No, like we don't I'm get saying, this. You are the one who mentioned. You are the one who mentioned the if hadith. You said. You said. I use hadith to prove Islam to be wrong. Here we go. This is what your prophet and you said and you said I am using the if hadith. Okay, this is this is this is how how it can be fabricated that it's written by Muslims, translated by Muslims, printed by Muslims, published by Muslims. Are you saying that Christendom don't what? They they are they are they are they are not hypocrites. They are Muslim who so you are saying Muslim, so you are saying the scholars of Islam are hypocrites. Aisha is a hypocrite. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that in every society, no, we Christians we don't allow anyone to say something Jesus said and he did not say, and we agree with everything is in the Bible. So listen, 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 listen. So is the black dog? Is the black dog? Is the devil? Let's 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 we'll get there. I don't want I don't want us to you know divert. Is, okay, is I'm it true? Is it true that your prophet he said in the Sahih Hadith that, that the black we'll people? The, is we'll it, there, please. No, no, you will we'll not go. There. You will not get there because I know you will skip. You will never answer. You, no, you, you, you keep saying to me. Okay, you are the one I ask you. I ask you. Do you promise me that you will not change the topic the second you ask your question? You said yes. So now you said to me, I use a weak hadith. The second I said to you, which one? Show me the one to prove Islam to be wrong. It turned to be that the hadith I'm using, proving Islam to be stupid, is strong, and that's why you refuse to make a comment. Here we go. You're a prophet. Consider everyone is a black is a devil. You are a black. You are a devil. A human being is a black is a devil, according to Muhammad. Even dogs, they are a black. They are the there, devil. No, ask, no, no, no. This is very important. No, you are the one who may you, you, you are the one who mentioned it. You are the one who mentioned weak hadith, and I'm getting you busted. I don't use I don't use weak hadith. It's you Muslims who use weak hadith. As an example, you Muslim you say that the Prophet he says there's no difference between the black and white, but this is weak hadith. So you Muslims are hypocrite when you want to say it's a weak hadith, when you want to say it's a, so what if it's a weak hadith? We use it, it's still good hadith. So you're a prophet, he says stupid things. Islam is a fiction, as you know. Like as an example, don't you don't you know? Yeah. So can we can we proceed? You, what's wrong with you? You are the one who mentioned to me something. I told you anything you say, I will use against you. So you said to me, I use weak hadith. Exactly. This is what you say. These hadiths you are talking about, they were now Muslims who wrote about the prophet. They were Jews and Christians who disguised as Muslims and wrote about it. This thing. They were Muslims who wrote. Why is there if hadiths were reliable? Why are they fabricated hadiths? Why why are they? Uh, 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 Weak hadith. If it was reliable, thank you. Hadith, none of them. That's a, never that's a that's a good that's a good hadith, that's a good point. That's a good point. You, so you so you just confirmed you you just confirmed that Islam cannot be reliable religion because Islam is based on both. Okay. The, oh, the, the, the no, 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 no. I can show you, I can show you, I can show you. Tones of Islamic fatwa saying the one who don't accept the hadith of the Prophet, he is not a Muslim, he's a Kafir. 
It's the the, Quran, the, the, Quran, the Quran, the Quran, the Quran, the Quran says you have to follow the Hadith. Don't you know? Don't you know? The, don't you? Yes. Don't you know? Don't you know? Even you are an ignorant, my 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 sister. You're ignorant. The Quran itself. The Quran itself is a Hadith. Don't you know? The Quran, yeah, the Hadith of Allah, not the Hadith. Doesn't Muhammad matter. Hadith. It's a Hadith. No, the Hadith of Allah and the Hadith of Muhammad and the Hadith of Jibril. Like as an example. Okay, no, I, no, no. Actually, the Quran is not even the Hadith of Allah. The Quran is the Hadith of the ant. Did the ant speak in the Quran? Did the ant speak in the Quran? Yes. Okay. So, so how this is the so how this is the Hadith of Allah? When when the ant when the when the ant when the ant, when the ant she speak. Is Allah talking? Is, is Allah? Is Allah? Listen, listen. Is Allah talking or the ant is talking? I'm saying uh, it's a miracle of Allah, and you can't question Allah. No, I question it's Allah. You see, uh, you, when you call me, you when you call me, you said I claim that the Quran is full of fictions. I said no. I say the Quran is a fiction. So when 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 Suleiman when Suleiman when the when the Quran says listen listen when the Quran says Suleiman have a flying carpet, and then he, when he was a flying, he heard one of the ant talking. But ants don't talk. Ants are deaf. Ants don't talk. Scientifically check. Huh? You you said you are a scholar. Go check after this. Go check and see whether the uh, the uh, ants talks or not. They don't. They communicate as all the creatures. They have it. They have They have their own language. They communicate by chemical and vibration. They don't talk. The Quran says, "Qalat namla." Qalat mean a namla. She said a namla. She said and. It's for Solomon to hear. What is the, your problem? Because in the Bible, to the same thing, Solomon speaks to animals. What is is it? Different? Okay, show me the show me the verse of Solomon speaking to the animals. Go ahead. Go to the Bible. Show me, it's show me, animal. show me. Solomon is speaking to the animals. Go ahead. You can check it. <laughs> no, I, I no. You are the one who tell me. Tell me. So you see, you are you are you are just desperate trying to find a, a reason to answer. Same time, same time. What the, is that a true story? There's a there's a valley of the ants where nobody can go, and the ant. Are you there? <laughs> are you there? <laughs> Are you with me? Yeah, sorry. It was okay, an so network. Allah, Allah taught Suleiman the language of ants or the language of birds. What does it say in the Quran? You, you tell me. I'm asking you. You are the Muslim, not me. Remember. What, what does it say in the Quran? You, you I don't know. I, right I, 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 I learned that the Quran says Allah, he taught uh, 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 Suleiman those language, like uh, 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 computer programming. You tell me now. Allah, which language he taught him to the point he can understand the ends? So, which is the same as the Bible, Solomon's... No, don't, no, no, don't, don't say things, make things up. You are making things up. No, 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 same time, same time, animals, animals, other animals, as an example, a donkey or a horse, they, they, yeah, they have, they have their own way to talk by voice, but ants are mute. So how Suleiman, he heard the ant and he is in the top of a flying carpet. He is in the top of a flying, in the top of a flying. Yeah, this is not, this is not an animal talking. You are ignorant. This is about, this is about a guy. His name is Balaam. And this guy, God, he put the voice in the mouth of a donkey to warn him. It's not a donkey talking, but you're a prophet. He spoke to the donkey and asked him, do you like females? And then the donkey, Afur, he answered saying, no, I don't like females. He is a gay. The donkey, even the donkey of your prophet is a gay. Now let us go back to the topic. Your your God, he taught Suleiman the language of what and how, did he teach him the language of the ants? Did he, did he teach him the language of the ants? Hello? You Hello? said Solomon. Why do you why did you jump to a uh, uh, hadith? I, I go by the Quran. This is not hadith. This, this is hadith. Quran. This is Quran. I go by the Quran. You are talking okay, about Okay, I'm Quran. showing you the Quran. The, Bible. the Quran, the Quran. The Quran. Okay, hold on. I'm asking you. In the Quran. Listen, listen, listen. In the Quran, mm -hmm. Allah he taught uh, 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 Suleiman which language? In the Quran, not hadith. Which language? What does the chapter say? The chapter say he understood the the language of the
the ants. They have, they have a way of communicating. Okay, so guys. If Allah made it a miracle for Solomon. To all right, all right. What is your but, problem? But my, my, you problem, my, my problem, my problem, my problem, my problem that Allah in the Quran He says Allah He taught him the language of birds, birds only. So how Allah He taught him the language of the birds in chapter twenty-seven, verse number sixteen, and then he understand the language of the ants. Is ants are birds? What is different from the Bible? When so listen, listen, Doc. Are you saying to me now? So, so are you admitting that the Quran is a book of stupidity and even not good for kids? So, Allah He taught Allah He sent Suleiman to the classroom to learn the language of birds. Suleiman, he went to the class, he came out, he understand the language of ants. Look like See, you Allah. Cannot, you, so, cannot, you cannot speak of the ants when you have limited mind. Okay, limited mind. Explain to me. You see, you are the one who have no limit. You, you are the one. You, you are the one who don't have. He spoke to animals. Listen, listen. He is the one. Okay, listen. You said you go by the Quran. You don't go by the Hadith. And now we are in the Quran. And now you don't want to talk. Okay. So how Allah? How Allah? He says that he taught him the language of the chicken. He taught him the language of the chicken, and then he understand the language of the ants. Yeah, so what is your problem here? What's wrong with you? How he taught him the language of the chicken, and yet he understands the language of the ant? And she said to me, what's every problem? Let me repeat the question. Muslims are slow by nature, by birth. Hello? Listen, listen, listen. Don't answer the phone now. What is your problem, sir? My problem is, this is a stupid story. story. It's so not, it's not, even, it's not, even, convin it's not even convincing to kids. That's why you want to answer. How Allah taught him the language of the chicken, and then... He understand the language of the of of of, uh, of the ants. Give me the the verse. Uh, the, 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 listen, I've seen it before. Listen, I think I think that in the, the classroom with Solomon, there was an ant sitting next to him, and you know they talk like you know what language you speak. She said to him, uh, "I am uh, huh." Quran. So the chapter. Chapter seventeen, the chapter of the ants. Even the chapter name. Your Quran. Your Quran is like a zoo. The chapter of the ant, chapter the ant, chapter of the ant, chapter twenty-seven, verse number sixteen and verse number eighteen. Twenty, twenty-seven, verse sixteen. Sixteen and eighteen. Sixteen. Allah taught him the language of the birds. He sent him to the classroom to learn the language of the birds, and then when he went out, he graduated speaking the language of the ants. Okay, so it says so. So, huh? uh, what is your 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 problem here? If Allah taught him the language of the birds, hmm. do you have a problem? He taught him the language of the chicken. How he understand the language of the ants? There's no chicken here. It says birds. Is it, is it chicken? Is birds? Is in your country in Nigeria? Is your is the chicken is a is a is a uh, is bird. ants? It says bird. It, it says and David was succeeded by Solomon. It says bird. Okay, so what There's is bird? No isn't it, isn't it a chicken? So isn't it, isn't it a chicken? Is birds too? So even so, so even in, in your Bible. You keep repeating um, the, the same. You, 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 the kept repeating, you, kept, you keep repeating. You keep. You keep repeating the same the stupid the things. No, this is not. This is, you, you are being stupid now. No, you are making things up. So look, you do uh, not know. You do not know your book. You do not know your book. And now, look, look, look now. Look, look, look what you did. I will go with you. I will go with you. Are you saying? To, are you saying? Are you saying? Are you saying that the Bible is a stupid and we Muslims are stupid too? Is that what you are trying to say? I'm not saying the Bible is stupid. You are playing double standards. So That's stop public, stop fabricating things, and now answer. So now I want the answer. How Allah, how Allah, He taught him. How Allah taught him. I am, I am, I am Allah. Prove me wrong. Here we go. You can, you can say the telegram. I am Allah. I am Allah. I am Allah. Prove me wrong. I have a shin. You, you can send a telegram to God. I have a shin. Huh? Talk to a, 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 a. Why did you teach? Solomon, the language of the birds. 
You can do that because that is God's word. But you what see, but that, hold that on, hold on. Please. Listen, listen. Your God, he says, please. if this book is made by other than Allah, you will find in it a lot of contradiction. So Allah himself, he said to me, no problem. If you find contradiction, that means this is not my book. And then when Allah, he say that he taught this person, Suleiman, uh, the language of the birds, and then Suleiman is speaking the language of the ants, that is a contradiction. So Allah himself, he gave me permission to laugh at him if there is a contradiction. And now I'm laughing, ha, 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 do you want to laugh with me? So it how Allah, right, how right, Allah, right. how Allah, he taught him the language of the ducks, walk, walk, right, walk, right. walk, walk, walk. So how he taught him walk, walk, and now Suleiman, he walk in the street, he fly in the flying carpet, and now he heard an ant in the ground, tens of miles down in the ground, he is in the sky, how he can hear her? It's a miracle, it's a miracle, no problem, magic, yeah. And then, how he understand the language of the ants when Allah taught him only the language of the birds? You are refused to answer, to answer the question. So, what is the contradiction here? The contradiction is, if, you taught, if I taught you German, you don't speak Russian. Let them, let them come help you. Can you call, can you call your sheikh to join us? <clears throat> no, please, let's go because I, I have a question to ask. Whether what's, this is what's wrong with you? I gave you, I gave you. I'm just an ordinary Muslim. Muslim, and then uh, what, you what, make or, some claims what or about the what order then, what ordinary Muslim mean? Quran. So, so you, see, you see, you see, you see, you see. In the in the beginning, you attacked me, saying I use fabricated mm -hmm. hadith. When this is your hadith, not my book. Secondly, now I'm using now I'm using now I'm using Quran. Now I'm using the Quran. You, the you don't. Are you telling me that all Muslims go by hadith? Yes, all Muslims have to go by the hadith. Okay, how how you obey? How you said to me? You said to me yeah, that if you want, if a man he want to beat his wife, you have to beat her gently. In the Quran, nowhere it says that you are lying. Okay, swear swear by the shin of Allah. The Quran says, beat them gently. Go ahead. See, we are not diverting. I have a lot of questions. When we get there, no, no, we, no. We you keep you keep skipping. You keep skipping. No, I want you to swear by Allah, by Allah Shin, swear by Allah Shin that there is no in the Quran it says beat your wife gently. Why are we jumping back to that question? Let's let's go. Let's because because I'm because I'm showing everybody I'm showing everybody that you are being hypocrite. You are being hypocrite. to comment on that. About what? About what? About creation. That's what I even creation. Creation. Okay, go, go. Okay, okay. But but keep your okay. promise. If you if you ask me a question, we stay in it. Okay. So yes. Give me but, the question uh, about the uh, creation. Before that, I, before that, say. Mm. Um. Why I know that you hate Islam a lot. Mm. You hate Muslims. No, I don't hate you, Muslims. You made a video of, I love Muslims. I have four. I have four. I have four. I have four Muslim wives, sixty kids. Stop lying. But, you know, it is your God who says, "Okay, hold on." No, you see, you, you say, "Hold on." You said, "Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on." Is hate is wrong? Is hate is wrong? I'm saying from your behavior. I'm asking you: Is hate is is hate? No, 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 no. Hold on. You see, I, I, you, you promise me. If you, op you promise me, you promise me, you promise me. If you open a topic, you don't, you don't run away from it. Is hate is wrong? I, that was the open statement. Let me. Let the, the, me, the, the, me no, no, no. There's no open you statement. Is hate? Is, done, why you? you why you don't? Or, why you don't say yes? Why you don't say yes? And you accuse me of. Uh, you accuse me. Shut up. You accuse me. Shut up. Shut up. You see? You are in the corner. You are. You are in the corner. You are a big mouth. I want you to tell me. Is hate is wrong? Is hate? Is is hate? Is is hate is wrong in Islam? Is hate is wrong in Islam? Where Cap 2014 and said that was Qatar, where the ladies were wearing bikini and said that was Qatar. That's a lie. That's a lie. Okay, uh, hold on. Okay, hold on, guys. The woman wearing the woman wearing bikini is 
The woman wearing bikini is Qatar. Hold on, guys. Women wearing bikini is Qatar. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Let me answer. Let me let me answer. So now this is the problem about Qatar. About okay. Shut up. 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 Let me answer. Let me answer. Let me answer. Let me answer. Hey, 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 hey. Talking machine radio. Let me show you. I, I will show you in the video. Shut up. Shut up and get lost. She will not let me talk. I will type one word in YouTube. Just one word. And I will type it in the front of you. And none of the video you will see in the screen is made by Christians. You said women in, in Qatar wearing, in, 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 in wearing bikini. We don't wear bikini. We do muta. Don't call me. Let me show you first. Hold on. Let me show you and then you, I will call you back. Let everybody laugh at you and laugh at Islam. And see how decent Muslim women are. I just type one word. Which country is that? Which country? Which country is this? Eh? Which country? What is this? Which country? This is, must be Israel. Is it? Which country is that? <laughs> this is Israel, brother. <laughs> Which country is that? Not only that, even in your most conservative Muslim countries, you have little boys dancing for you. Look, Muslim women, they bend over their asses up. Which country is that? You said Muslim women in Qatar. In Qatar. No, this is not Qatar, brother. This is Honolulu. Did you see the Muslim women shaking their ass? I can show you even how the billy dancing is number it's one. Go so, check. That was Brazil 2014, say. It's not Qatar. This is not what? It's, it's it's not Qatar. That was Brazil. Okay, Brazil which which country? Which country? Which country is which which which, which country? Which country? Qatar? Which country is because this one? Like okay, it, hold on, like, hold on, hold on. Okay, let uh, let me show you about Qatar. Hold on, don't call me, don't call me. Let me search for Qatar. Give me a second. Islam is religion of prostitution. Even the Quran says you can hire a prostitute. Prostitution is not haram. And you are telling me Qatar now is not the country don't go let me show you the let me show you the proof i am not the one who made the video i posted your islamic videos so if you are claiming that um the muslims are liars it's your business here we go i will type fadaihu don't call me don't call me potato don't call me let me show you the they show you the, the video coward don't you want to see the video I will show you if you Muslim make the videos and if you Muslim saying this is Qatar and if you Muslims who post it shut up shut up shut up I will I will give you hold on she will she not to quit now I know why Quran says you should beat them <laughs> for sure I will never do that I'm not a scum back like Muhammad so look at this uh, Uh. Ah, guys, this is a video. I did not post it. I am not the one who made it. I have nothing to do with it. This is one of many. فضائح مدرجات كأس العالم قطر. Let me use Google Translation. Hmm. Google Translate so you can see the title. Hold on, I need to open it in. Uh, give me a second. In Google Browser so we can open it. You you said you said and look at the stadium. Look at the stadium. And those who watch it, I don't watch those games. They will know if this is Qatar or not. <laughs> okay, this is the video. I will use Google Translation. I will post even the link for everybody in the chat. Hmm. This is not Qatar. This is not Qatar. 
Okay. What is the Muslim video saying? Do you see this guy wearing, wearing the Islamic clothing here? Do you see this woman wearing hijab? This is not Qatar, okay? Do you see this Arabian guy? <laughs> this is brother, this is not Qatar. Yet most of those people, they are in the stage, they are Arab wearing, I mean, this is in Brazil. In Brazil, they are wearing Arabian clothes and women, they are wearing hijab. This is uh, this is uh, this is not Qatar. You are a liar. You know, you can see on you. Know. <laughs> so she could not answer about the stupidity in the Quran. She went there. She said, "How you hurt our feeling? Your your Islamic countries is the land of betcha boy, boys, betcha bazi. You bring even boys to dance. You make them dress like girls. I will show you videos. But let us play this video here, and everybody will see how stupid you are. Let me make it long." I will play the video as it is. In Christian Prince, you are lying. You posted the video. And here it says, Mushajja Qatari Yaruddu Alay. He says to him, Shut up, shut up. Who? Okay. <laughs> oh sorry actually here this video it says that this is in the uh this is this is the section where people of ecuador but this is still in the uh, the, the stadium of qatar those the ecuadorian team the ecuador team <laughs> 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 this is not in Qatar, brother. Look at the women behind. Everybody is wearing hijab. Look, 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 look. This is not in Qatar. Those are not Qatari. This is in Pakistan. Look at the stadium. And this is not in Qatar. Ah, yeah, okay. So, this is... The <laughs> oh, this is not in Qatar. This is not in Qatar. And this guy saying, to him, shut up. Shut up, you coward. Shut up. Don't uh, support your team. Uh, shut up. Huh? Potato. And now let us go to Bachabazi. Shall we? Which one is more ugly? Oh, hold on. Before we go to Bachabazi. Muslims in Egypt... They do molid, praising Allah and the Prophet. Um, I will try to find you something not too bad. Like something respectful. Give me a second. Something will not hurt your eyes. Too much. Let us see. Oh, brother, this is in the street of Egypt, in the street. Brother, this is in the heart of Egypt. What they eat, what kind of McDonald's they go to, and nobody is upset. They put them in the stage, in the road. In the road, do you see those are curtains? This is in the road, in the street. They do that almost every week in Egypt. And look what the women are wearing. We don't wear bikini. You don't wear bikini. You go naked, honey. You do muta. No, no, don't do that. You know, I said to them, I will play a video which is decent, a little bit decent, you know. I mean, look what they are. What they eat those ladies here? I mean, I don't know what they eat. Mash, mash, smash Allah. Look at this dance, how beautiful it is. Oof. That's, guys, I have to go. I cannot continue. This is so hot. Oof. It's getting so hot here. And the Muslim women, she felt offended. Hey, we Muslim women, we don't do those things. What are you talking about? Now, let us go to Bachabazi. Bachabazi is even nicer. Ah. 
bringing a boy, dressing him as a girl, and those are the real Muslims, Taliban. Taliban! Aha! Brother? If we search right now for Betcha Bazi, what we will find? We you know this is those things you see in the Western countries. In our countries, we don't have those things. We are decent Muslim women. We do muta only. What the heck? Sound like Ali Dawa. Look at this very handsome boy dancing. Look, even documentary made by the uh, 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 BBC, CBBC, so so C, all kind of C, and they force them even to sleep with them after they dance. The Islamic country, go and this is in Pakistan, this is in Afghanistan, this is the heart of the Islamic conservative. Bringing a boy, little tiny boy, at the age of five years old, and your prophet himself is a child molester. Do you see it? We, this is not a throw. We don't do that. Okay. Look at the shake. Look at the shake and look at the victim. Look at those poor boys. They bring them the. This is a boy. This is not a girl. This is a boy. Those are boys. Those are boys dancing in. This is in the Gulf. This is not in Pakistan. I can tell from the clothes behind. Let me zoom in. Maybe Pakistan. Yeah, maybe Pakistan, actually. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We are decent people. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we know you. I grew up there. I grew up there. Just search for Betcha Bazi. Boys dancing in Bagan ba Pakistan, Afghanistan. And how, how they have... Look, Taliban eating ice cream. Thank you, Western people. But, yeah. Beautiful Islam is a beautiful religion. Yeah. Now I will open my Skype and don't scream. Huh? Focus with me in the topic. So yes, Qatar is the land of a pervert, and the prince of Qatar is a pervert, and he is no better than your prophet. He is a pervert too. Now let me let you I will call you in Skype. Get ready. Don't shout and scream so people can hear what you want to say. Okay. Huh. She declined my call now. She have no answer. She was calling me like a nut. Now she don't want to answer. Did you see the video? You Did you see the video I showed you in Qatar? Hello? Did you, did you see the video I showed in the screen about Qatar? I missed miss your call. You call. I called back. You were not picking, so I was out of YouTube. Oh, no. This is not excuse. You can go back, watch it, and call me back. So, no. Apologize. Apologize for lying, saying I am lying. This is your Muslim This is your Muslim post. This is your Muslim channel. Those are Arabic channels made by Muslims, made by Saudi, made by Emirati, made by Qatari, and you are saying I am lying. So, let me ask you now. Is it is 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 bikini is bikini haram in Islam? Let me let me respond. Is bikini you, is bikini can you, can, you replay, can you replay the video you said you because I was out of YouTube you were not picking my calls and then I have to Yeah because you so don't let me you, you don't let me play it and I showed you not only one videos I show you even Muslims bringing no, boys Muslims Muslims Muslim they bring boys even they bring boys what do you think about bringing boys to dance for you and put makeup on them Look 
look at look let me let me tell you something uh, tell me i something. saw something yeah we have to be specific i see in every society in every religion there's bad and there's good but you posted a video brazil woke up 2014 when the ladies were wearing bikini they let them with a, a man in, in the middle of them wearing brazil wake up jesse and you still say that it's Qatar. Qatar was the, the wake up was broadcasted all over the world uh, there was nothing like that. You started by okay. saying that. This is in the state. This is okay. Uh, that, that one. That one. That one. Uh, okay. Shut up. Shut up. Let me answer. Let me answer. That one. Okay. Uh, oh, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. You know. Said, shut okay. up. Shut up. Is singing allowed in Islam? You say? Is singing allowed in Islam? Singing is the music allowed in Islam? I don't know. You, you, how come you do not know? You know about Qatar football. Is football allowed in Islam? But uh, whether music is allowed or not, no, I can show you that the music is you, not allowed. So us. hold on, hold on. What, so so in Qatar, in Qatar, let me let me tell you. I can open now the, the FIFA website and I will show you. In Qatar, it says if you are a homosexual, you are welcome. I can show you right now the Prince of Qatar welcoming homosexual. I can show you the Prince of Qatar. They make a command that even you can drink in the hotel, but don't drink, please, in the street. You can drink in your place, don't drink in the street. So they are saying alcohol. So now you are saying to me that Qatar is following Islam. Is that the point? Wait, let, let me talk. Are you done? I'm saying uh -huh. when you, are, you hate Islam, you use Islam and Muslim. When you are saying certain things, use the right information because that was a misleading information. I responded to you on uh -huh. the, the comment section. Then uh -huh. you told me that why should I blame you when you when you saw the videos on online? And I told you, so you being a scholar, you just pick so, any video. So are you saying to me that the Muslims, okay, hold on. Are you saying to me that the, are you saying, are you saying to me, hold on, I will play the video again. Are you watching my channel? I will, I will look for it again and I will play it. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. Are you saying to me that you must then post videos in Arabic misleading me, Christian Prince, and I mislead you? See, as I... Uh, I'm not talking up, I'm not talking for the Qatari people. You just did it because you have hate for Islam. Uh -huh. because uh, okay, so now I ask you, listen, listen, okay. So now you change topic, you change, you change topic. I ask you, I ask you, in Qatar, did they allow people to, to bring homosexual to, to the FIFA game? Yes, the answer is yes. I can play right now for you. The Prince of Qatar welcoming everybody, saying, say, huh? They said, when you come, you can be whatever in your hotel and whatnot, but publicly, so no. so oh so now you can you can do all your sin. We give you permission, but in your hotel, and that make Islam is a good religion. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay, you can hold on, hold on. Okay, so uh, now now let us go, let us go, let us go to the video. The uh, do you do you see my, do you see my do you see my screen? Do you see my screen? Okay, yes. Okay, I'm going to open for you. I will put for you a video. And you did you watch the Qatar uh, uh, Mundial? What? Did you watch the Qatar Game Stadium? You know how it looked like? Yes, I watched some. Okay. So we can fi we can find out from the stadium if this is uh, if this is in Qatar or not. It's not all the uh, the matches. There were some I watched. Just... Well, well, listen, here we go. I will show you a list, and I'm I'm using Google Translation now. Those all in Arabic. All those videos, title in Arabic, made by you Muslims. None of them is made by me. Well, if it's made by Muslims, is that is that is that is that is that in is that is that in is that in Qatar is that in Qatar. People can say they are Muslim. Is that, and they are Muslim, is that, Muslim. In, is and that, that every is that, religion, is that, every religion. okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, you know. So, is it, is it made by Muslims? Stop telling me every religion. Your prophet himself, okay, in every religion, if there is a prophet, he's a pervert? No, only in Islam. Maybe you are perfect because you like using so, the V and so, the P oh, way. You okay, listen, like listen. This. Do you okay. see the video? Do you see do you see the video? Do you see the video? Do you see the video? It says the scandals in the stands of Qatar World Cup two to uh, 2022. Does it say that or can not? You, can, no, can you bring that picture? That does it does it say does it say does it say that, yes or no? 
I've not seen anything. See, I, I don't care. About you told me, no, you said to me, you are watching my screen. Okay, don't call me then. So, okay, let us, let, let, let us talk. Is it, is it okay to bring girls? Is it okay to bring girls to dance for you in Islam? See, uh, the, the first ceremony was Quran recitation. That's why you, you started okay, by Okay, so that. the first the ceremony, ceremony is a Quran recitation. Point. Now I want an answer. We recite the Quran. And second, is it okay to bring women dancing for us? Point. Is it okay? Is point. it okay in Islam? Point. Is it okay in Islam to bring women to dance for us in public? Yes or no? Let me, let me bring, let me make my point. Then you, you, you. No, you tell me, explain. tell me yes or no you, first. Tell me yes or no and make your point. Take your time. Yes or no, is it okay to bring women to dance in public in Islam? Yes or no? If, 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 if they brought women to dance in public, is their business. Ah, so why are you are upset when I say this is in Qatar? So in Qatar, if they bring no, the government, okay, hold on. So no, this. So I am showing, I am showing you that Islamic governments in Qatar and the rest of the world are a bunch of hypocrites. And at the same time, do you yourself watch girls? Do you yourself? I want you. I want you to be honest. Do you? Do you yourself? Do you yourself dance? Okay. Um, say, do you say, yourself say, dance? Do you yourself say, da do you dance? Okay, let me respond. Yeah. Let me respond. The churches, they are blessing uh, same-sex marriages. Drag, drag queens are preaching there, which is against the Bible, but they are doing it. Who? So please. Who? Drag queens, they bring drag queens to preach in the churches. They bless those, those, uh, same-sex marriages. Uh, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The Bible says, okay. the Bible says, shut up. The Bible says, not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who do is real. And not, not only that, oh, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. We Christian, we don't believe if somebody call himself a priest, he's a priest. He is a priest of Satan like Muhammad. He will go, what if I show you now from the Quran? It says you that you can have, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Is a prostitution, is a prostitution, is halal or haram in Islam? Prostitution is haram. Okay, so how you can read for me this verse then? In the Quran it says, if you make the girls agree to do prostitution, it's lawful for you. Open the Quran with me. And by the way, the, the muta, the muta is a prostitution yeah, anyway. You, you were taking me, I wanted to start by Christian because- Hold on, hold on, those are no Christian. They are no Christians, those are Muslims here. This is Muslim, this is the Quran. The one who followed the Quran, he can, the one who followed the Quran, the one who followed the Quran, can you show me one verse in the Bible that says you can work as a pimp? No. I am showing you now, I'm showing you, I'm showing you from the Quran, I'm showing you from the Quran. Okay, read it. Okay, read it. Chapter four, chapter twenty-four, chapter twenty-four, verse number. Chapter twenty-four, verse number thirty-three. A lot of the evil things in this world, Quran forbids it. Listen. Let me check the verse you are talking about. Okay, chapter twenty-four, verse number. Shut up, so you can hear the verse. I mean, you cannot stop talking. Chapter twenty-four, verse number thirty-three. It says, "Force not your girls, your maids, into prostitution. Your slaves, actually, not maids." Chapter 24, verse number 33. Chapter? Oh, Please. chapter 24, Please. verse number 33. Hello? Hello? Chapter 24, verse number 33. Please, chapter. 24, verse number 33. Mm. I'm waiting. Yeah, please, the net is slow. I'm, I'm, I'll be with you. Mm, okay. <clears throat> and oh, uh -huh. 
Uh huh. Okay, can you read it? it? Tell me where it allows prostitution. It says, "Force not your maids to do prostitution, and if you force them, Allah is all merciful." So if they agree, he's saying, "Don't force them." He don't say never. He didn't say. He never say haram. He said, "Force them not to do prostitution, and if you force them, Allah is all merciful," which means it's okay, it's lawful, and it's a so business. Allah says that. Why do you interpret it like that? It says that don't force them. Okay, so is it is it haram? Is, is it haram to do prostitution? It's haram to do prostitution. And so why why he's saying why he's saying don't force them? If I say what is the condition, don't force them. But if you agree with them, that means it's okay. So if I don't force them, you said to me you don't accept anything except the Quran. Here we go. The Quran yes. says if you force yes, them, the if there is if there is if there is an if there is any penalty, no. Even if you force them, those are slave girls, poor slave girls. Muslims are using them for sexual entertainment, sex slave so pimps. Allah, Allah says, please listen to me. Mm. Allah says that don't force them. Mm. Even the distance. And let those and let and let the ones who do not find what it's record to wait to wait keep abstaining until Allah enriches them of the grace. It says that you shouldn't force them. Okay. But so, so now, them, so now, if they, is, so now, if, Allah, they, if, 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 okay. if the verse that Allah is forgiving, why are you interpreting has is forgiving those who force them? It says there. Why why it's, don't you? Why, it's, it says why that, you, okay, what is the penalty? What is the, what is the penalty in the Quran if this is haram? And then it should be, we should have a penalty. Does it say here it's haram? No. It says force them not, which means if they agree. No, it, it says that force them not. So why don't you see that too? Don't force them not. Okay, I see that. I see, I see, I see, them, I see, them, I see that. that. I see that. I see that. I see that. I see that. that. Listen, I, I see, I see. It says force them not. But it doesn't say it's haram. It says if you force them, Allah is all merciful. Force them not. But now if the girls agree, if the girls agree, what is the situation? So if Allah says that when you fornicate, you'll be given some lashes. If you so why they are doing it? So why they are doing it? And why they are doing it? Hold on. Why they are doing it? First of all, you are in ignorant because in in Islam, in Islam, in Islam, you are you are you are a stupid ignorant like your prophet. Listen, listen, listen. In Islam, you can have sex with the slave, and it's not a fornication. You are a stupid like your prophet. Secondly, this is the Quran in front of you. This is the okay. Can you show me the interpretation? Can you show me? Can you show me? the interpretation where it says that this is about forbidding huh did it, did your prophet beat anyone or punish anyone he did the practice prostitution like this this That's is what i'm saying these are these are made working under the people and allah is telling them people used to pre aramic they were using the the, the uh, pre-islam this is they no, th this is Islam. They are now those are women they capture from war. No, Muslims attack their neighbors. Like Listen, those are Muslims. Oh, you, you have those your, your are Muslims. Those are Muslims. Okay, no, no, no. Why you don't give me the interpretation for the verse? Which verse? The verse we are reading. That's what I'm saying. Well, and this Allah one. says that don't force them, but if you force them, Allah is all forgiving. Okay, so if, so if, I'll, if Allah, you, okay, no, I'll, if you, you force them, if you them. if you force them, so now we have a case of someone, his name is Andrew Tate, Titi, he forced girls to do prostitution. Allah will forgive the girls because they did the prostitution, according to you, right? What is the penalty for no, Andrew Tate? What me, is the penalty me, for Andrew? Me, what is the penalty for the one who forced them? Let me, let nothing, me, nothing. Let me, hello? Nothing. Okay, what if I show you, hold on. What if I show you that if a Muslim man have sex with his mother, there's no penalty? Uh, listen to me. Listen to me. What if I show you that if a Muslim, if a Muslim, hold on, hold on. You see, you want to play games. I will play with you. I will, I will play with you. Is it true? Is it true? What is I'm asking you? I'm, I'm, I'm asking you a serious question. What is the penalty in the Quran for somebody sleep with his mother? His mother? Allah says that forbidding 
in marriage are your mothers, your sisters, everything. Thank you very much. In, uh, in so what is the penalty? It's for uh, guys, it's forbidden. Here we go. You see, you, you see, you got yourself busted. So when it is forbidden, Allah he say forbidden. Here he did not say forbidden. It is here. Hold on. Shut up. 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 Okay. Yeah. Your, okay, I have, I have, a, I have a, a fatwa. Lot. I have a fatwa in the front of me, Abu Hanif al Nu'man. He said, and this is one of the biggest Islamic uh, sect, the Muslim sect. They have four sects, four only for the biggest sect. Hanifa is one of them. He says, he said, he said, shut up, shut up. He said, he says, La hadda, la yuhad. Man tazawaja bi imra'a la tahilla lahu. It, it's not Wait, there's no talk, penalty hold point. on there's no penalty there's no penalty there's no penalty if you marry your mother you are, no, listen, to me. listen to me you are saying that Allah says that um, Allah is for uh, all forgiving is, did the, is the verse saying that it's forgiving to those who force them doesn't matter doesn't matter what, what is the point what is what is the punishment there's no punishment so now we have slaves we force them and we can we can open the book we can we can open the book of musnad ahmad the book of musnad ahmad ibn kathir al qurtubi al tabari al jalalain forgiving those that done the 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 act not those that are forced okay where where in the quran it says allah forgive the slaves nowhere it says it says min ba'da ikrahi Rahim. Allah he forgive he didn't say forgive the me he didn't say in the verse forgive girls he didn't say in the verse he forgive the girls or the boys he says Allah is all merciful so where is the punishment so it doesn't say it's forbidden it says don't it says don't force them okay 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 hold on okay 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 I will go with you I will go with you okay so now so now we have so now we have we have a person forcing women and many person forcing women to do prostitution. Can you name for me one person, you're a prophet, he punish of those people? Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Why do you interpret the verse as? I know, no, 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 I don't want to give interpretation. I don't want to give interpretation. You see, don't toss my question. If there, if there is one, don't, don't force me to hang up on you. Again, don't so force me says that it's all forgiven. Why, hey, radio, why radio machine radio machine radio machine radio machine radio 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 station listen 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 as long as long shut up hey 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 okay can we open uh, can we open shut up shut up shut up you want to hang up on you what the point Hello? You keep talking, talking machine. How we can talk? Listen, can you give me one person who did the prostitution in the time of Muhammad, which the verse talking about? He was punished. In the time of Muhammad. Yes, this in the time of Muhammad. This, this is the Quran. Muhammad what was I not there. Is that huh? uh, prostitution is not allowed in Islam? Can you show me? Can you show? Can Abortion you sh shut up? Allowed? Shut up! Bible, give me, give me the proof. Give me the proof. Give me, give me the, give me, give me, give me the proof. Give me, give me. Your prophet is a prostitute himself. Your prophet father, his, he, he was a. I can show you right now. I can show you. I can show you. I can show you. Shut up! Shut up! You are, you are giving me headache. Muhammad, he says, Muslim women have half a brain, and I have to agree. Muslim women only have half a brain. You don't let me talk. Your prophet father, he was a jagalo, and this is written in your book. The sister of Warak ibn Nufal, she offered him 100 camel to F her, and this is in your book. Your prophet himself is a jagalo. He married a woman 20 years older than him. Some they say 25, some they say even 30, just because she have money. Your prophet himself is a jagalo. Your prophet, he says, Ibn Ammi Hataka Ardi, my cousin, he raped me. You are talking about honor. And now I show you that the Quran promotes prostitution. And I ask you, can you show me one person? He forced his slaves into prostitution, was punished by Muhammad. Talking machine, non-stop. Talking machine. Nowhere in the Quran says because why he is saying even such a thing say haram and when I ask you about 
if you have sex with your mother, you say the Quran says it's forbidden for you to have sex with your mother. The Quran says that it's forbidden for your mother. So why your biggest sect in Islam saying there is no penalty for the one who sleep with his mother? What kind of religion is religion? And not only that, in the Quran, it says, وَجَعَلْنَاهُ نَسَبًا وصيرا. If you have a daughter, this is way ugly from prostitution. If you have a daughter out of marriage from fornication, in Islam, she is not accepted to be a daughter. Therefore, fornication with the mother and with the daughter is not forbidden no more for they are the fruits of haram. Who said that? You. And they are human. They say that they are human. Human, they say that. Okay, not me. Human. So aren't you human too? Maybe you are a mule. This is Tafsir al-Qurtubi. And this is the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. The land of pervert religion. Hey, this is not my website. This is your own website. This is the official government of Saudi Arabia. Quran.ksu.education. This is the Ministry of Islam, actually. Here it says, because those females are not coming from marriage, it was only creation. It is not guaranteed or granted lineage. Therefore, it doesn't go under Allah's statement. It's forbidden for you to have sex with your mother and your daughter from fornication. For she is not a daughter for him, according to the most accurate scholars and the most accurate of deen religion. And if there is no lineage from marriage, it's not forbidden to have sex with the daughter and the mother of daughter. And what is forbidden from halal will not be forbidden from haram. Who said that? Let us read together. Translate. It doesn't say that, CP. And I will post the web page for everybody who, so he, they can use Google Translation and they can check out what is the website. Maybe this is a Christian prince website. Maybe this is a Christian prince making things up. Maybe it's not there. Do he lie? Those Christians, they lie about Islam, brother. They lie. Okay, let's see. Aha. So here it says, Ibn al-Arabi said, Lineage is a mixing of water. I like mixing water stuff. Muhammad is stuck with the water. Between male and female, according to Sharia. This is what lineage. So if it's not according to Sharia, there's no lineage. Take a note. Which means in Islam, because it's an evil religion, you sleep with the woman, you have a baby from her, the baby cannot inherit, the baby cannot take even your name. What is the just? What the baby done? What the baby fault? Nothing. So, according to the Sharia, because she is not the daughter, according to the more accurate of the two saying of the scholars, and more accurate of the two saying of religion, because Allah was grateful only to his servant by lineage and marriage. Okay, so what we will do now? Because of that, it is not forbidden. If a man, he have sex with his daughter, not marriage, he do nikah to his daughter. She is a daughter from fornication or his sister or his son daughter from fornication <laughs> it is halal 
because she is not his daughter according to Islam. So she is not for is not forbidden to have sex with her because simply she is not his daughter, even though she is his daughter from his blood. This is your website. Use Google Translation and take your time. You can even copy text like line by line if you want. This is Isna. It's not forbidden to have sex with her because she is not his daughter. So the Quran says it's forbidden for you to have sex with your daughter. Well, here we go. She is not his daughter. Therefore, it's not forbidden to fornicate with her or even with the mother or even with the daughter of your sister. If your sister, she have a fornication. If your sister, she step with somebody and she have a daughter. You can sleep with the daughter of your sister. Who's saying that? This is your website. Or even your son. Your son daughter. You are a grandfather now. Your son have a fornication child. The grandfather can have sex with his own son daughter. Why? Because she is daughter from fornication. And yeah, they are they are listing for you the names of the scholars, brother. Look at the scholars, brother. Aha, amazing religion, brother. Yeah, in Islam. So this is how a filthy cult is. It's lawful for you to do that. This is religion of the pervert. You cannot be a person not a pervert and you agree with this. And not only that, don't you know that Muhammad himself, he had sex with his own daughter? His daughter-in-law. You might say, oh, this is daughter-in-law. It doesn't make any difference. Not only that, Muhammad, he went to his own son's house when the husband was not there. And he for no kid, the Muslim, they say he flirt only. Who was who in the world want to believe in this? And the wife of Zaid, his son by adoption, she claimed that each time her husband Zaid tried to have sex with her, Allah made his penis swell. It doesn't say that, CP. I'm going to get you busted. It's not there. This is Tafsir al Qurtubi. Page number 423, according to the Muslim government website of Saudi Arabia. Muhammad, he went to the house of his own son when the husband is not there. According to the Muslims, he flirted with the women, the wife. This is the one they call him the most decent man. The whole wife, obviously she is in bed with him already. She claimed that each time her husband after Muhammad, he flirted with her. There is no way Allah will let the husband sleep with the wife after the Prophet, he like her. No way. So Allah, he think about what to do, what to do, bad boys, bad boys. The husband now want to sleep with his wife. Hmm. So Zay Zainab, she said, Allah, he made his penis swell. The miracle of the swelling penis. And the Christians, they say the prophet don't have miracles. See, we got them busted. While Jesus was making the blind see, Allah was making the husband penis swell. Why? Because the prophet went asleep with her. Isn't it? This is beautiful. Put yourself in the penis of Zaid situation. Let, let us search for the word the translation is swelling.
Oh. Zainab, she said that Zaid is swollen. This is his penis. Translation is not accurate. From that, when he wanted to boom boom her, people, why you don't want to convert to Islam? Do you see the amazing miracle? The penis of Zaid swell. How you explain that? Why? Because the Prophet, his eyes falling on her. The same book saying, if the Prophet eyesight fall into a woman, her husband must divorce her. Let me show you. <laughs> the pervert. Why are you saying that? You know, you hate you, you know, you hate. You know? What a, what a scumbag. He broke every command of the Ten Commandment. Every one of them. Let us open the page for you again. It doesn't say that, see they. The Prophet, he have 10 privilege. Tafsir al-Qurtubi, here this is better, because here it show you the page number. The page number, the value number, so you can take your reference. Value number 14, and let me post the link for you guys. And you can use Google Translation from your side. And this is a very Islamic website. Value number 14, page number 187. For this stupid woman who called me, she said, I am lying. Open and read. Challenge me. And this is Tafsir al-Qurtubi. No, no, he's a human. Oh, no, you are not. You are not a human. Muhammad is not a human. They are counting the privilege of Muhammad. What the privilege we are talking about? Sexual privilege. His eyes fall onto the wife of Zaid. He flirted with her. He said to her, Subhanu Mu'alli for Qulub. Praise be to Allah, the one who made my heart pale and flip for you. See, Muhammad is a believer. You know? Let us see where we can find the reference. There is a privilege for Muhammad. More than 80% of them is about sex. Read with me and laugh. Number 10. إِذَا وَقَعَ بَصَرَهُ عَلَىٰ إِمْرَأَ وَجَبَ عَلَىٰ زَوْجِهَا طَلَاقُهَا And it's lawful for him to F her. If his eyes fall into a woman, which means that's it, he like her. Her husband immediately must divorce her so the Prophet can F her. Translate the page. Shall we? And we look for number 10. Number what? Privilege number 10. If his sight fall on a woman, her husband must divorce her and she is lawful for him to F her, not to marry her. Do you see how decent he is? How religious he is? He go to your house. He like your wife. Your duty is to give your wife to him immediately. Muslim men, they have no dignity. Because how in the world any Muslim man, any man in the world, when I accept that a man come to your house and now he like your wife and you give your wife to him. This is in their book. This is not my statement. 
the page number, the reference, the, you, you check it out. Check it out. It maybe maybe you are lying, my friend. Check it out. This is a very Islamic terrorist website. Islamweb.net. This is the page number. This is the value number. This is the name of the book. This is not a guy in YouTube. Those are their biggest scholars. And the opinion of those people, what work? Every Muslim, if now, if a sheikh want to give you something called fatwa, fatwa mean like according to the Islamic law, so you don't want to break the law, you ask the scholars. The scholars, they will go and read this book. And from there, they will cut the conclusion. So you come to the sheikh, says, sheikh, but the prophet, if the prophet come to my house and he like my wife, should I give him my wife? He will say, absolutely, son. You cannot even say no. It says, wajaba, wajaba, wajaba. If his eyes, it's a must. It's not like a choice. Maybe you say no prophet. No. It is an obligation. And look how many privilege. All of them mostly is about sex. Any Muhammadan beside the radio station she called me? You lie, you say this is the, the you know, but this is not the, in Qatar. And Qatar is the land where the scum back the prince. If I if I search right now for the scandal of the prince of Qatar, you will see him naked smoking hashish. Hashish. His father is the same. They have six hundred million dollar yacht. They go and they bring girls from Al Bosnia, Muslim girls from Al Bosnia. And why from Al Bosnia? Because those are poor. Whatever you give them, they will not go and sue them. They are Muslim like them. They will not cause them scandals. So, brothers and sisters, isn't it obvious that Prophet Muhammad is a wonderful person? And look how nice he is. He come to your house, he see your wife, and your wife, you know, uh, she is pretty, she have a maybe nice ass. May Allah ass your Prophet. He look at her ass, he look at the, as Allah, he look at the ass of the woman, he look at Allah. Allah, right away, he will answer his request. The man have to divorce her, you know? All those privilege, either about sex or about women, and this is how you know how suck you know uh, 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 cult leaders function. All cult leaders, they have the same functions. Look, privilege number eight. What is the privilege? The Almighty saying, and I believe in women. She offer herself to the Prophet so he can F her. Why I believe in women? You don't even need to pay her for free. Only Muhammad. Only Muhammad, he F women for free. And the Muslim, they say to you, well, if the Prophet, he is a fake Prophet, why he do that? What is the benefit he got? This is number eight. Number nine is no better. What about number 10? Oh, that is even the best. If his eyes fall into a woman, her husband must divorce her. And when this crazy woman, she called me and she said that in Islam, we beat them gently. She refused to tell me how to beat the women gently. How you beat women gently in Islam? Tell me, please. She don't want to tell. Embarrassing. Because let me make it so gentle. A spat. Somebody spit at you. Can it can it can be more gentle than this? Any women she likes somebody to, to spit at her? I mean, how gentle it can be more than this? Huh? 
Beating is using your hand or using something to throw at somebody else or hitting a person. A person he hit you with a spit. It cannot be lighter than this. They fabricate and they say gently. If we go in the in the hadith, we will find that Muhammad he judge in a case where the man he did beat his wife until her clothes are greener. Don't forget to subscribe and unsubscribe, please. Because if you subscribe to me according to the logic of Islam, Allah will take good deeds from you. If you unsubscribe, Allah will double them for you. If you calculate your number, you will find if you subscribe, you lose one. You unsubscribe, you get two. So you lose one extra. By the end of the day, you will make thousands of subscriptions deeds. You subscribe and subscribe. This is how stupid this religion is. Here is a story of a man raping his wife. He is forcing her into sex. She don't want to sleep with him. And this is what the story is saying. She don't want to sleep with him. She married him because the pervert Muhammad, he made a verse in the Quran says, if a Muslim woman, she get divorced three times, she cannot go back to her previous husband until a new man tastes her orgasm and she tastes his orgasm. Look how filthy scumbag he is. Ah, and she mentioned something I, I, I did not stop by it uh, when she was talking so fast that there is a person in the Bible he married a prostitute you are stupid ignorant this is a Palestinian woman she was practicing her paganism and in paganism Palestinian those Palestinians they are proud, proud about they used to offer themselves as a service for their God to be prostitutes it's <laughs> million prostitute your prophet is a prostitute. Islam is a religion of prostitution, and we prove it. And even you Muslims, you on your channels, you promote prostitution to the point you are saying everything is about sex.